Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the new movie, Chaos Walking. Now this movie has been a long time coming. It filmed back in 2017 and it stars Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. Or should I say, it stars Spider-Man and Ray. So why would you not want to see this movie? Well, I'm excited to give you my spoiler-free review of Chaos Walking. But before we dive into it, I'd love it if you'd take one second and hit that subscribe button. Hey, it's Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Full disclosure here, after seeing the trailer, I went into this not super thrilled about it. I thought it was going to be mediocre at best, uh, despite the sci-fi feel and the amazing lead actors. Now, I've got to say, I was pleasantly surprised, and I'm not sure if that's because I went into it with such low expectations, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself watching this movie. Is it perfect? No. Are there issues with it? Yes. But is it a fun watch? Yeah, I thought so. Now, the premise of this is that people from Earth have come to settle on another a planet. This planet has affected the men in a strange way. Just the men, not the women. You can see and hear their thoughts. Uh, there's been no women around where Tom Holland's character, Todd, has grown up. And so when he eventually stumbles upon a woman... Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't, he's never seen a girl before. He doesn't get it. He doesn't like that he can't see her thoughts. You know, he's worried, what if you don't like my dog? What if you want to hit me over the head with a rock? I mean, this is all stuff from the trailer. And uh, so it's not spoilers. But um, yeah, Daisy Ridley has, her ship has crashed on the surface of this planet. And then he needs to keep her safe. Uh, the rest of the town is kind of, just wants to you know, talk with her, but not really talk with her. And he, you can see their intentions. So you know what they're going to be doing. So of course she's terrified. And um, so Tom Holland's character is tasked with, although he does accept the task of taking her somewhere where she can be safe and protecting her. Uh, and what follows is an all right movie. Uh, definitely not terrible. I, I really, truly enjoyed the premise of this, right? I thought it was really cool and something that we really haven't seen before where you're on this alien planet and it affects you to the point where people can see your thoughts. Like, can you imagine you can't keep any thoughts away? Like, like there's one scene where they're eating dinner and Tom Holland's character, Todd, is complaining about the dinner. I would hate that. I would feel so bad because I would never flat out be like, meh, your cooking sucks, you know? Like, no one would flat out do that. So... Until you can learn to control that, I think it seems like the older they get, they learn at least a little bit to control it, depending on um, their characteristics anyway and their personality. Uh, it just feels like that would be that would be so crazy. Can you imagine you literally have no personal thoughts? That's nuts. Now, the noise, that's what they call it, itself looks really cool. So it's like this aura around your head, but then sometimes if you're thinking about doing something or you're thinking about a moment, it actually creates that moment and you can see it, which I thought was really cool. I love how it was done. Uh, I thought it was really impressive. I thought it looked great. Uh, there's definitely some moments that the noise got Tom Holland in a little bit of trouble where it made me laugh really hard, probably too hard. Uh, but there's definitely some humor moments in this. But yeah, the noise was really cool in that aspect. Now, also hearing it, right? It starts to overlap itself. Like you can tell Tom Holland and all these male characters really must have gone in and just recorded something uh, and then they played it over and over. It would overlap itself. It would change a little. You know, when they're when he's trying to not have his noise get out there, he just repeats his name over and over, which is weird but kind of funny. I mean, I guess he's trying to calm himself, trying to change his mind so he's not thinking about certain things so he doesn't say things or think things that he shouldn't be, right? So I love how that's done. Uh, at first, I thought it was really cool, interesting, because there's only a few characters. Um, then it gets a little annoying. The, the, the times when it gets annoying, let's put it this way, it gets annoying when there's like a whole group of people and it's over and over and it's like, ah, it's almost too much, right? It's, 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 too, it's too much. It's like aggressive and you're like, whoa, all right, I get it. And I get the whole point is it is aggressive, right? Because there's this moment where Tom Holland discovers Daisy Ridley's character and he's walking through town and he's trying to get to the mayor to tell the mayor and he's trying not to think about it. But of course his brain is like, space girl, girl, this spaceship, blah, 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 blah. And as he's going, everyone's hearing him. So then their noise starts repeating the same thing over and over. And he ends up walking through this crowd with all these people thinking the same thing. And it's very uh, loudly aggressive, which 
again, I understand what they're trying to do because it's supposed to be loudly aggressive. It's supposed to be this massive group of men who are confused as to what is going on. What is the spaceship? There's a girl. What's happening? Where, like, where is she? What's going on? Are we in danger? Like, all this stuff. So I, I get it. I do. I do get it. But it was a little aggressive at times. Um, as for the rest of the movie, there's a few moments that are, there's one moment in particular that's very uncomfortable to watch, very hard to watch. I'm not going to give any spoilers, uh, because it does come later on, but just keep that in mind. Uh, the story itself, fairly predictable. I mean, my husband and I, uh, had a discussion while watching it and we, like, I'd say probably 30 minutes in, maybe even a little earlier, someone said something and I went, I think this is what's going on. And, and he was like, yeah, me too. And then, I mean, we were right. So I, I think the story itself, predictable. Uh, the premise, really interesting premise. Really could have done more with it. I really liked that. Um, I kind of liked the chemistry between <laughs> Daisy and Tom. They had this weird chemistry. You know, she's definitely scared. She's alone on this alien planet. Of course she's scared. Um, I feel like there wasn't enough done with the I think they were called the spackle when you guys watch you'll know what I'm talking about they're just there really wasn't enough there I feel like they left too many questions hanging in the air uh in that about them in general uh but also in some other moments there was just a little too much questions like why a lot of whys weren't answered which is a little frustrating um but you just got to take it for what it is so again there's definitely some plot holes the script is not the best uh, I love the premise of this. I love the sci-fi aspect of it. Uh, Tom Holland is fantastic in everything he does. Like, there's, I cannot fault him at all. Daisy Ridley, also incredible in, in this. But, I mean, they did what they could with the script, right? There's some really beautiful scenes, especially towards the end. There's a moment with a spaceship that I just thought was absolutely gorgeous. I loved looking at all the parts of it. Uh, story's a bit predictable, Definitely a whole lot of, but why? And a whole lot of unanswered questions. A lot of things they didn't do enough with. They really was annoyed they didn't do enough with the spackle. Um, I think that's what they were called. Uh, I It just really frustrated me because I felt like that could have been really cool. And they just, it uh, fell flat a little bit. So while Chaos Walking is not perfect, it is a fun movie to escape from the world for an hour and 49 minutes. Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley, of course, do what they can with the script and are really great actors. Uh, I love their, their chemistry together and the way they played off each other. They definitely carry this movie. Now, there's some things they didn't do enough of, like the spackle. It could have been so much cooler. I would have loved more of that, and I felt like it left a little bit of too many unanswered questions. However... I wasn't expecting much, and if you go into this not expecting much except a fun sci-fi movie with some great actors, then you know what? You'll be happy. I give Chaos Walking a 3 out of 5. Chaos Walking comes to theaters and IMAX this Friday, March 5th. If you've already seen it by the time you get to this review, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. I'll see you next time.